Hello guys. Today we are going to discuss about the momentum. So let's start. I'm going to share my screen with you. Momentum is very interesting and very important topic. So let's start. First of all, what is momentum? Remember this thing that all moving objects have momentum. If object is moving, it means that it has momentum. And if object is not moving, it means there is no momentum. Its momentum is zero. So we can say that momentum is the measure of how difficult it is to stop a moving object. Or you can another way you can say that momentum is quantity of motion of an object okay so if there are two cars now you can see there are two cars one is yellow other is blue now both have same mass but one of it one of this car is moving faster than the other okay so which has the most momentum remember this thing one is moving faster so then the other so which has the most momentum of course the faster one has the more momentum both have the same mass but the car which is moving faster it means it has more momentum okay so let's see another example if both cars travel at the same velocity means both are moving the same velocity but one is full with luggage and other is empty which will have the most momentum see one is full with luggage means the mass is now not same before this example i gave you in the first example that mass is same but now the mass is not same because one is full of luggage mean one has more mass but now they are moving with same velocity it means velocity is same but one is moving with the uh, with the luggage so see i will show you now here for example in this case as i told you sorry in first case mass velocity is same so what will happen here mass increases so mass increases so which has the most momentum of course the heavier car so what we concluded from here that momentum depends upon mass as well as the speed if anyone will change momentum will change you got it so now we can say that bigger an object is and the faster it moves the more momentum it will have and other the more difficult it to stop of course if one object is moving fast so it means its momentum is more so it will be more difficult for us to stop whereas if another object is even moving very slowly but his object's mass is huge so you want to stop it it will be very difficult for you to stop so it means that it has more momentum. Clear? So now, how we can calculate momentum? So as I gave you the examples, momentum depends upon two things. What was that? First one was mass and second one is velocity. So it means when we are saying that momentum depends upon two factors, two quantities, mass and velocity, so the equation for the momentum is momentum equals to mass times velocity this is formula for the momentum okay so just you will multiply mass with velocity for example just i will give you the example for example you are saying that the car is having a mass of 10 kg so let's say mass is 10 kg and it is moving with a speed of 
2 meter per second. So you write 10 kg multiply speed of 2 meter per second. So you will multiply these two, you will get the momentum. So 10 times 2, that is 20. Now important thing is that what will be the unit? So remember, the unit you can write from here, see, you can derive. So unit of momentum is kilogram, okay, times, there is a velocity. So what is unit of velocity? Meter per second. So 20 kilogram meter per second is the momentum of that car, which is moving with velocity of 2 meter per second. So it means that a unit of momentum is kilogram meter per second how we can say because mass is measured in kg and velocity is measured in meter per second so the unit of momentum is kilogram meter per second is it clear now okay now now if we want to discuss that Either momentum is a scalar quantity or vector quantity. So remember this thing. In momentum, I told you two quantities are there. That is velocity and mass. So you should know that velocity is a vector quantity because it has a magnitude and direction. So whenever there is a direction, it means it's a vector quantity. So velocity has a direction, so velocity is a vector quantity. And mass has no direction. It has only speed. So you can say that mass is a scalar quantity. Okay. So you should know first the definition of vector and scalar. Vector quantities are those quantities which have magnitude and direction. Whereas scalar quantity only have a magnitude. There is no direction. So in this formula, we know that mass is mass times velocity. There is momentum equals to mass times velocity. So Mass is a scalar quantity, but velocity is a vector quantity. So when velocity is a vector quantity, it means you can say that momentum is also a vector quantity. So momentum has also a specific direction. Okay. So usually we are representing this direction with positive and negative sign, plus or minus. Okay. Okay, let's see now. There is a calculation now. One question is there. A snooker ball with a mass of 200 gram moves with a velocity of 2 meter per second. What is its momentum? Now, see, first of all, you will write that what is the mass of the snooker ball? So, mass is 200 gram. So, just I will, and the speed is 2 meter per second. Let me share the screen with. I will make it white so I can write. Okay. So what was written that mass equals to 200 gram. It is given velocity. What was velocity? Uh, one minute. Let me check. Two meter per second. So mass is 200 and velocity is two meter per second. What is momentum? Oh. Mm. Mass is 200 velocity is meter per second what is momentum so momentum is repre represented by this p usually we are representing momentum by this sign p so p they are asking you have to calculate the p so what is formula for the p you can write momentum p equals to mass times velocity but remember this thing this is 200 gram, so we have to convert this 200 gram into kilogram. Always, when there is a mass in gram, you will convert into 200 gram uh, into kilogram. How? 200 divided by 1000. 
because in one kilogram there are thousand grams so when you will divide so you will write 200 divided by thousand it is 0 0.2 kilogram now see 0 0.2 G. Now just substitute values. Mass is 0 0.2. You will write here 0 0.2. Sorry, 0 0.2, not 5. 0 0.2 times velocity is 2. So 0 0.2 times 2. Answer is 0 0.4. So 0 0.4. What will be unit? As I told you, it is kilogram kg meter per second. So, answer is 0 0.4 kg meter per second. Yeah. So, let me check now. Uh, 0 0.4 answer is, I will check if there is in the option it is there or not. So this is 0 0.4 kg. There are the options. So let me check. This is 0 0.4 kg meter per second. This is momentum. The answer is correct. Is it clear? Okay. Thank you. Now, the next question is, now see, a car with a momentum of 50,000 kilogram meter per second. So momentum is given. That is how much? 50,000 and the mass is the velocity is 20 meters per second. So, momentum given 50,000 and velocity of the car given 20 meters per second. They are asking to calculate mass. Okay, let's see now what, we, what is the answer. Before this, I will go to white screen now. Okay, now see. First of all, momentum was given. So you will write P. What is given? P equals to 50,000 kg meter per second. And second thing is given that is velocity. How much? 20 meter per second so you have to calculate mass see now what is formula for momentum we know that this is formula you have to memorize this formula p equals to mass times velocity but remember you have to calculate the mass so you will rearrange this formula you can write M equals to P divided by V. Just V will, because V is multiplied here with M. So, this anything which is multiplying on one side, if we go other side, it will divide. So, P, you can write M equals to P divided by V. So, you can write 50,000. divided by 20 so let me check what is answer now 50 thousand divided by 20 2500 kg so it means the mass is 2500 kg So one more thing I will tell you, if you don't want uh, to just do the rearrangement, if you don't like this one or if you have a problem with this one, rearrangement in the formula, so you can use a triangle. Sorry. I will make here again. Okay. So in the triangle, you are writing this way, P 
here m here v see now p equals to mass time velocity and if you want to find mass mass equals to p this is slash mean divide divide or you can write also division sign here p m equals to p divided by v and if you have to calculate v so v equals to p divided by m here you can also write this division sign it's up to you so this is another method to just rearrange the formula so here answer is 2500 kg let's check that it is correct or not so this is option for 2500 kg so this is the correct answer is this clear so i hope it will be clear now for you guys so inshallah next in next class we will discuss about the momentum and the relation of momentum with force okay that we will discuss in the next lesson thank you very much see you inshallah in next class bye bye take care